Welcome back. Welcome to another episode of Hoppier Days. Last time I talked to you guys, it was last decade. Um, and you know what? Not a ton has changed since then. I did see Star Wars Rise of the Skywalker. And to be honest, I loved it. I don't care what people say, there's a certain formula to Star Wars movies that is just outstanding and I love it and it's great and I could watch a million of them. I could watch that fucking Millennium Falcon squeezing through tight gaps and escaping and twirling and twisting all over the place for fucking hours, for days. I think the goat of the movie is easily Babu Frick. If it wasn't for Babu Frick, they would have... I would give Star Wars Rise of the Skywalker 9 out of 10. I loved it. I really did. And you know what? If you don't feel the same way, I don't care. Bonjour. Welcome. The beer we are reviewing today is Skopska. Skop Skopska. Um, it is a Macedonian beer. My coworker and dear friend Natasha went back to her homeland and she grabbed me a couple cans of Skopska right from Macedonia and brought it back to me. It's the most drank beer in Macedonia. Um, I believe you can in some places get it around the United States, but this came all the way across the world. Not every can. Fucking guy's honking his horn and gonna ruin my audio. Not every can needs to have some sort of artist design it that's like well known and sign the can and shit. Uh, I just like a plain, good looking beer can. I like this one. It's double sided. We got Skopska on one, and then I'm assuming that's also Skopska on the other. Skopska is a lager beer, premium quality. It is, there's never a beer that doesn't say it's premium quality. There's never a beer that's like low shelf lager, bottom of the barrel lager, or schwill lager, half-assed pale ale or something. Half-assed pale ale would be a good name. If you homebrew and you want to name your beer half-assed pale ale, you have my right to. You just got to send me some. You just got to send me some. It's 4.9% alcohol by volume extract. 11%. No idea what that means. All right, well, let's stop squatting around and fucking crack this guy open. This beer has a scent. It sort of smells like when you go to return your five cent returns, your empties. Uh, in the more civilized states, we have a deposit on our cans, so we gotta recycle them and return them. You should recycle them anyways. It smells like the building. It smells like a five cent return, like warehouse or recycling center. That's what it smells like. Uh, I can't say that's a compliment. Quite the little fro on this guy. Oh, too much. It is nice and carbonated. There is fucking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, thousand thirty-five, a thousand thirty-six, a thousand thirty-seven, a thousand thirty-eight, oh, that popped, a thousand thirty-eight, two thousand thirty-five, two thousand thirty-six, two thousand thirty-seven, two thousand thirty-eight, two thousand thirty-nine, two thousand forty. There's 2,040 bubbles in here. You're not telling me that's not fucking carbonated? Holy smokes, is that ever carbonated? But a lager's gotta be. It's gotta be nice and carbonated, and it kinda gives that little fizzy pop on your tongue, especially the very first beer of the day. Crisp, refreshing, good. It's a little bit more pale tasting than most lagers, I feel like. It's got a little bit of hop bitterness, a little more flavor than your Average like Coors Light, Budweiser, Labatt's Blue. It feels a little bit like you'd be in an old, dirty, dusty bar drinking this with like a guy that has a lot of ear hair. I don't mind a lager. I like them. I enjoy them. This is a uh, premium lager. I think it's fine. I think it's good for what it is. I, I would drink more of them. Uh, I think... 
What was I going to say? I've lost my train of thought. What did I talk about? Star Wars, lagers, Babu Frick. If someone comes up to you and says, why are you, why are you drinking this lager, this swill? People are so opinionated. You know what you tell them? Get out of here. You just, you get out of here. You just take your oatmeal, chocolate, coconut, double raspberry milkshake stout and you just, you get out of here. Get out of here. Or I'm going to spit on you if you don't get out of here. You just get out of here, I tell you right now. And then, you know what? Then you're just there with that old man with your hair drinking your, your beer. And you're going to have a lot better time. Hmm. I'm going to give this beer 44 out of 55 Adidas tracksuits. You know, you know, that's my rating for it, but I feel like I'm not truly experiencing this Slavic beer, this Macedonian beer, the way it should be experienced. Anywhere. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be uh, in the video. Basically, I thought that I should try the beer in the most Slavic uh, of way possible to see mm -hmm. um, to see how the Slavs really enjoy it. So I recorded a quick segment of what I how I thought a Slavic person would enjoy this beer. And I just want you to tell me if it's accurate or not, or if I'm being culturally insensitive. Good form. Does this remind you of home? I mean, your face is like so grouchy, and yeah, no, <laughs> no to that. Uh, you guys are wild, a wild bunch. The cigarette is spot on. <laughs> the outfit. The pose is spot on. The outfit is. You need like a little uh, man purse across <laughs> your body. <laughs> Every single man there wears a man purse, and the garage is perfect fitting too. <laughs> Messy. I'm worried I would get some backlash from people saying that uh, it's not um, appropriate. There's like actual websites dedicated to people mocking Slavs, so I think you're pretty safe. See, I mean, I'm a Slav. Listen, friend. even as a Slav, I think um, myself. <laughs> and cut. <laughs> Alright, that's been another episode of Happy Your Days, guys. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. If you want a Happy Your Days t-shirt, happierdays.com to get one. It really supports me and helps me out a lot, and I really appreciate it. And you're going to look fucking outstanding in them. Uh, goodbye. Ow. 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 Fuck. Uh, arm was pinched. Uh. That was a stupid fucking ending. I'm not going to use that one. I'm probably...